Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, some breaking news that was put out by John Clem um, about the uh, L.A. sinkhole. I'm going to play this for you in just a second, but I had asked John uh, if I could mirror his work and then give you a little commentary. In, like in a matter of two minutes, uh, he was so gracious. I want to show you the love he sent. Uh, dang, brother, you know, for one, uh, you for one never got to ask. Thanks for the link back. Slowly my subs are rising. Uh, wish it was faster, so I know this stuff is uh, wise. It was faster. It was getting out. People are passing it on. Uh, do you know they tested an EMP missile three weeks ago? But look at the love, and in a matter of minutes, what an awesome YouTuber. Link, the first link you come to below is going to be to uh, John Clem, uh, the video that we're mirroring here. And... Uh, Anyway, I'll go ahead with uh, John's news here, and then I've got a few things to add to this at the end that I think you really need to wake up to uh, and share this information. All right, it's November 14, 2012. It's 419. This is one of those other stories from the link from the new Indiana explosion. It says, Big Home Reservoir. Nobody in the world has ever faced with a situation like this. That's the reality. It says there's a video, but there's not, but there is a sound thing from a um, conference. And this leads to a photo. I'll show you that next. Let's see what we got. Straight as I can tell you, it's an unprecedented problem, folks. And I feel your anger. I wish I had a $5 solution. I don't. It's a tough problem. Nobody in the world has ever faced a situation like this, like we're grappling with. That's the reality. The Atasca folks were here. We asked them that very question. They've dealt with collapse. They've dealt with subsidence. They have never dealt with collapse, subsidence, and natural gas. So that's where we're at. Uh, the vent well effectiveness is being assessed. We do have a large area of gas accumulation. I showed you where it was. We're doing ongoing evaluation to explore viable options, if there are any. Uh, one question that's come up from a number of folks is, can we just intercept the gas in the big hum and stop it there? Big hum is somewhere around six to 8,000 feet deep. It is a 200 foot interval with multiple sand stringers in it that change as you go around uh, in, in the big home. It's very difficult right now to determine the gas production horizons that are feeding the gas problem we've got. In addition, based on the geology, it may not just be the big home, it may be deeper horizons that are contributing gas. Uh, we're looking at the 
stability of the flat zone because we've obviously got ongoing hydrocarbon releases through there. We're looking at the uh, seismic events we've already collected, data we've already collect collected. There will be seismic imaging of the flat zone to see what we can see. And we're doing rock mechanics modeling. And here's the photo. I'll put a link to this. Working for finding that and giving us a heads up right away. The first link uh, in the description you come to will be John's channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to that. I'll put the links in that he has here. And if you didn't you know if it wasn't self-explanatory okay this is where the sinkhole is uh, side note that three weeks ago I believe it was two acres I think it's around seven I haven't had my finger on the pulse of it just uh, you know some tidbits here along the way because I know what's coming and I try to tell people about the new Madrid zone you know over a year ago two years ago people were really bumping up that area and scaring the shit out of everybody now they've gone to sleep and don't think it's an issue but uh, if it wasn't an issue FEMA would not have placed all those underwater body bags Sim simple Google search will tell you that no I'm not gonna link you to it because this is the thing part of waking up is getting off your fucking ass and going to find this information yourself if I spoon feed it to you I'm no different than Alex Jones the mainstream media it's just going to keep you asleep. You're going to just give you, uh, take what I feed you, and you're not going to get anything new. And you know what? Then I'm not going to learn anything new. To get active, to wake up, you got to get off your ass, okay? To get in shape, you don't sit there and let somebody fucking lift your arms up and down and move your legs back and forth. You get up and fucking do it yourself. you got to get in shape. you got to get awake. But I'll tell you what I've learned and know so far. Um, and... New Madrid zone, wake up, okay, wake up. Remember this map that I showed you, the Edgar Casey map, um, 1972, I think it was put out. They knew. Now I know the rebuttal is, ah, they made the map back then to set it up for now. It's irrelevant. Either they scientifically knew it was going to happen, or they intended to make it happen. It, it doesn't make no fucking difference to me. What makes the difference to me is that in this zone here are tens of millions of people probably who are going to die. Uh, okay, this isn't a fucking joke. That L.A. sinkhole is right at the bottom of that active zone along those fault lines, folks. Do some research. Google it up. Take my word for it. But if you know people in that area, please share this video with them or any other information you dig up. And if anybody has the ability to move from that area, I, I'd do it. If I live there, which I did live close to there in Kentucky, you, you see I'm up here in New Hampshire now, right? Okay. Um, not that you got to do what i got to do. Um, but you need to do something. You need to do something. And if nothing more than no... In a minute's notice, i got to get the fuck out of here with my family. Well, then, if that's all you can do right now, you, you at least might not end up in one of those body bags. If you know you have to move quickly, your, your route's mapped out, and you keep the car full of gas just in case. Little things. Work within your means, but know that you have to. Much love. Many thanks to John Clem. All the links will be below.